Hello guys, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. Now we are going to solve these two problems which says that determine the x, y and z components of 900 Newton force and the angles theta x, theta y and theta z that the force forms with the coordinate axes. And the, in the second problem is the same but we have to find the components and the angles uh, for this 750 newton so we have to repeat the problem for 750 newton force as well so now we are given this 900 newton um, and it is making 65 degrees uh, angle with the xy plane so this is the xy plane or we can say that it is making 65 degree with the ground so now as we know that if we consider this right angle triangle which is standing on the floor this right angle triangle is standing on the on the floor and here we have that 90 degree angle so we can resolve this 900 newton force into its two rectangular components so we will have one component like this and we will have one component like this so let me represent those components so we have this component this component is we can say that this is fh and we have one another component which is parallel to the y-axis so this component is parallel to the y-axis this is f of y so this is fh this one is fh and this one is fy so as we know that the angle is made with fh so it will be the cost component of this 900 newton force so we can say that fh is this is the solution to problem 271 so we know that fh is the cost component so we can say that fh will be 900 newton cause of the angle so cause of 65 degrees so 900 cause of 65 this gives us 380.36 so 380.36 newton and similarly if if the fh is the cost component then f of y is the sine component since since uh, these are the rectangular components so we can say that f of y is 900 sine of 65 degrees so 900 sine of 65 this gives us 815.68 815.68 newton then we are given that this line along which fh is acting is making 20 degree with the z axis so then we are given the angle of this fh with the z axis so we can resolve this fh into we can further resolve this fh into two rectangular components so we will have one component like this that is along the z axis and we will have one component along the y axis so if we look look into this fh from the top from this we will be able to see the two components like this so let me draw the so from the top we will be able to see the x and z axis so let me draw those axes this will be our x axis this will be our z axis like this this is x this is z and the y axis will be out of the screen so the dot represents the y axis that is out of the screen and we will have that line along which fh is acting so this line is making 90 degree uh 20 degrees sorry this is that uh 20 degree angle now fh is acting along this line like this this is our fh now we can resolve this fh into two components so we will have one component like this one component like this and one component like this so let me represent those components as well. we will have one component like this and we will have one component like this so this component is parallel to the z-axis so we will write that this is f of z and we can say that this is parallel to the x-axis so this is f of x now as we can see we can we can show those components here so we will have this f z and we will have one component like this now this component this component is in the negative axis so we will write that f f z again we can see that now in this right angle triangle 
the angle is made with fz so now fz is the cost component of fh so we can say that fz is fh cos of 20 degrees so we can say that fh is this or this so we can say that fh is 900 cos of 65 degrees cos of 20 degrees or we can say that this is 380.36 cos of 20 similarly the f of x is f of x is now the sine component in this right angle triangle so we can say that f of x is uh, f h sine of 20 degrees or we can say that f h is 900 cos of 65 degrees sine of 20 degrees so now we can find f h which is 900 So 357, so Fz is 357.42 Newtons and similarly Fx is 130.09, so 130.09 Newton. So this is Fx, this is Fy and this is Fz. Now we can represent this 900 Newton force into its uh, i j and k form that is the cartesian representation so we can say that this 900 newton force f x i so now we, this is the f x magnitude but f x is actually acting in the negative x direction so we will write that this is acting in the negative i so we will write 130.09 into minus i this is acting in the negative x direction now we have then we have f of y so f of y is in the positive y so f of y is this 815.68 it is in the positive j and then we have fz which is plus 357.42 k so in this in the second part of the problem it is said that find the angle of this 900 newton force with x y and z axis respectively as we know that the force vector will be equal to the force magnitude times the unit vector and let's say that the unit vector is lambda so, the unit vector is so from this the unit vector is equal to force vector divided by the magnitude now the magnitude is given the magnitude is already given which is 900 newton so now we have to find the unit vector so the unit vector is equal to force vector this force vector divided by this magnitude so we need to divide each component by this 900 newton magnitude so that will be equal to minus 130.09 divided by 900 i plus 815.68 divided by 900 j divided by 900 k so 130.09 divided by 900 this gives me 0 0.145 so minus 0 0.145 i this is 0 0.906 j zero point three nine seven k now we also know that uh, the components these components of the unit vector can be represented in terms of theta x theta y and theta z and and this unit vector can be written is cos of theta x plus cos of theta y j plus cos of theta z k so in in engineering statics these components of the unit vector are known as the direction cosines and theta x theta y and theta z are known as the direction angles so now we can we can compare both of these and we can say that cos of theta x is equal to this cos of theta y is equal to this and cos of theta z is equal to this so let me write it like this so cos of 
theta x is equal to minus 0 0.145 or we can say that theta x is cos inverse minus 0 0.145 similarly cos of theta y is equal to 0 0.906 and theta y equals to cos inverse and similarly cos of theta z equals to 0 0.397 and theta z is equal to cos inverse 0 0.906 uh, sorry this is 0 0.397 So cos inverse minus 0 0.145. So theta x is equal to 98.34 degrees. Similarly, theta y is cos inverse 0 0.906. So theta y is equal to 25.04. And similarly, theta z is cos inverse 0 0.397 which is equal to 66.61 degrees so now we we can say that let me copy this now theta x is 98.34 so the this force f is making this 900 newton force is making 98.34 degree angle with the x-axis with the positive x-axis similarly with the y-axis it is making 25.04 and with the z-axis it is making 66.61 degrees so this is the solution of uh, this particular problem uh, now this video is getting a bit longer so i'm going to solve this particular problem in the next video of this uh, series of this playlist so i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments and do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics for engineers by baron johnston